Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So today I am going to discuss this topic, solving routine and non-routine problems involving percentage using appropriate strategies and tools. Okay, so let's define first routine problems. So when we say routine problems, so routine problem solving are concerned with using at least one of the four fundamental operations which are practical in nature. So that means usually ang ginagamit nating operation dito ay isa lang. So let's say kung addition lang yung involved, so mag add ka lang. O kaya kung subtraction, so that means magsusubtract ka lang. Okay, so when we say non-routine problems, uh, non-routine problems are any complex problems that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve and that they can be solved in multiple ways. So that means usually ang involved dito, uh, let's say dalawa or higit pa na operation. So let's say halimbawa nag-add ka na, there are times na kailangan itong mag-subtract o kaya naman ay mag-multiply or divide. Alright, example. There are 1,500 students in Camtenio Elementary School. 14% of them are enrolled in the online distance learning and the rest are in the modular distance learning. How many students are enrolled in the online distance learning or in the online class? Alright, so in order to solve this, we're going to use the first step plan okay. the, the first step is understand okay and there in the understand we have the question what is asked so ang ilagay natin dito ay A na lang so what is asked in the problem the number of students are enrolled in the online so the number of students enrolled in the online. So, aside from the what is asked, under din dito yung what are given or what are the given facts. Uh, what are the given facts here? So, 1,500 students ano pa yung isa? 14% alright so yan yung bumubuo sa understand so ano yung kasunod na procedure so ang kasunod ay plan so, under the, the plan, how will you solve the problem? How will you sol solve the problem? By finding the... May sagot doon. By finding the percentage. So, under din dito yung tanong na what is the solution? Ano yung solution natin? Percentage or what is the formula percentage equals base times weight alright, so after ng plan so dito na yung solve yan, solve so balikan natin problem so paano yung sa solve so, ang given tax natin, 1,500, and then yung isa ay 14%. So, ang formula natin ay percentage equals base times rate. Okay, ano yung base natin dito sa problem? Ang base natin ay 1,500. And then yung rate natin ay 14%. Sa decimal form ay 1,400 yun. Afterwards, multiply mo lang. So, 1,500 times 1,400. 
Okay. 4 times 0, 4 times 0, 5 times 4 is 20, write down 0, for group 2, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And then, kung second multiplier natin, 1 naman yun, i -re -re write lang, yung multiplikin, dito sa ating second partial product. So, c to it na dapat naka-indent, ano? So, 0, 0, 5, 1, and then afterwards, i-add mo yung first partial product sa second partial product. So, bring down 0, 0, 0, 6 plus 5 is 11, 1 plus 1 is 2. Then, count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. Ang may decimal point lang natin ay multiplier 1, 2, 1, 2. So, dito decimal point. Then, the answer is 210. Okay, after ng solve, ang kasunod ay answer. Alright, so dito sa answer, so kanina nakuha natin 210, ano? So, ibig sabihin, lalagyan ng label natin yan, 210. Uh, ang label niya, online students. Alright, so let's solve another problem. Okay, so among the 1,400 students who attended the school, 12% are left-handed. How many are right-handed? So, as you can see, itong problem natin na to ay example ito ng non-routine problems. Yung nauna kanina, routine problems yun. Bakit? Ano yung difference nila? Kasi as you can see, yung given natin dito, 1,400 students. And then, 12% are left-handed. So, given yung percent for the left-handed, pero ang tanong, how many are right-handed? Okay? So, that means, ang kukunin mo, yung percentage ng right-handed. So, merong dalawang procedure sa pagsagot. Pwede kunin mo yung 12% ng 1,400. Then, afterwards, yung makukuha mong sagot ay isusubtract mo sa 1,400. Pwede yun. Or, pwede naman, Instead of 12% of 1,400 ang iyong kunin, ang kunin mo na lang ay 88%. So, automatically, yun na yung magiging sagot. Yun na kagad. Kasi, uh, let's use the four step line. Okay, so, under in understand what is asked. Uh, what is asked? So, the number of right-handed students. Okay? So, what are given? So, ito yun, 1,400 and then 12%. Then, after ng understand, ano yung kasunod? Plan. So, how will you solve the problem? So, by finding the percentage. Ano yung formula natin? Yung kanina pa rin. Percentage equals base times faith. Okay, after ng plan, ano yung kasunod ng plan? Solve. So, dito mo ipakikita ang iyong solution. Okay. So, percentage equals base times rate. Alright. So, yung base natin dito ay 1,400 times, yung rate natin ay 12%. So, that means yung 12%, uh, 1,200 siya in decimal form. So, ang gagawin nating procedure ay kunin muna natin ano, yung percentage ng left-handed. No? Sabi ko nga, dalawa yung procedure, so kunin natin yung 12%. Tapos mamaya, isusubtract na lang natin yung magiging result. Okay, so 1,400 uh, times 1,200. Okay, 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. And then, yung second multiplier, 1 lang naman. So, that means, rewrite na lang natin. Situate na naka-indent. 0, 0, 4, 1. 
then let's add the first uh, partial product to the second partial product 0 0 8 6 1 then count the number of digits to the right of decimal point 1 2 1 2 so 168 is the answer Therefore, itong 168 na na-compute natin, yan ang left-handed. So, ang tinatanong ay right-handed. Right -handed. So, that means, we're, to find the answer, we're going to subtract 168 from 1,400. So, 1,400 minus 168. Ay, magbabaroin tayo, no? 4 becomes 3, 0 becomes 10, 10 becomes 9, 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then bring down 1. Then, the number of right-handed are 1,232 students. So, yan yun. O, tignan natin, ha? So, eto yung nakuha nating sagot sa first solution. O, paano kung ang i-apply natin ay yung second solution? Na instead na sa 12% natin, i-multiply yung base, ay doon na lang sa 88%. Tignan natin kung the same rin ang magiging result. Okay. So, gawin natin itong 88%. Okay. So, pwede nating scratch siya, no? Dito na lang sa baba. 1,400 times 8,800. Okay. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 4 is 32. Write down 2. Regroup 3. 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. So, since na yung second multiplier natin, ay the same rin naman sa una. So, i-rewrite na lang natin to. Si 2, 8 na naka-indian. 0, 0, 2, 1, 1 then let's add the first partial product to the second partial product so bring down 0, 0 plus 0 is 0 2 plus 0 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 1 is 2 and then bring down 1 then count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point 1, 2, 1, 2 so, ang nakuha natin ay 1,232. So, that means the same din ang result. So, ibig sabihin, kahit ano pa yung gamitin mo na solution, still, the same rin naman yung magiging sagot. So, that means, ang ating answer ay... May answer natin, ano? 1,232 So, right handed pupils So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.